Okay. I was going to say, it makes me think there are plague people. And it seems that there are. Dexapam! That was, is that added to my journal? It's another chemical. Dexapam. Mercury amalgam. Oh, okay. Kick upon of blackberry joy. Oh, okay. I completely forgot that's what I'm currently doing. It's trying to make blackberry joy. Coffee beans. Resignations. All my men have quit or gone on holiday. Despite doubling their joy, they don't seem to fancy working on an island where the city is dumping downers like some sort of latter-day leper colony. I can no longer staff the waste pump facility under these conditions. I, I will personally remain here as long as I can out of duty. You're welcome, you bastard. Oh. Antiseptic bandages. They aren't really going to help me. God, I can hear people just throwing up. Oh my god, really? Jesus. Yeah, it's the people that are in here. Oh, fuck. Hmm. Great, broke it. Have you seen a branch? <laughs> really? One salivir! God, can I just kill him, please? Oh my god. There we go, got him. It's all good. Bum, 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 bum. I was about to say, you're gonna attack. Still don't really know why I'm using a branch. Oh, wait. If anything... Uh-oh. I might get hit here. Yeah, if anything, I'd rather not use a branch, because I could make a pointy stick. Ah, fuck. I really don't want to lose the cleaver, either. Come on. There we go. I got really fucked up. Um... Don't know why I decided to eat a rotten carrot. It's not gonna help. Where are the hells? Oh, there they are. What's that? Where my medical bombs? Woohoo! Perfect. Oh, there it is. Facility waste keycard. Another winning argument. Perfect. Oh dear. I'm assuming that's a uh, shit. If I had to guess. Either way. What's this Thank you. Here? Whoever left it was wearing a dress without pockets. Oh, he's plagued. Yeah, I didn't realise. I'm ready. Fucker. Wow, he dodged. What on earth? That never happens. Great, I hit the bed. Good shit. Got him. Don't want to loot. Better you than me. Perfect. We got it. Can I? That's the toilet. Oh, I can! There we go, now I have plenty of drink. I'll fill up four. There we are. It's not joy-filled tap water either. It's actually good water. More bleach. Oh, music. Wait. Oh right, that was like that when I came in. I just got really creeped out, because I was like, hang on a minute, there was no music. Alright. I have plenty of weapons, should I need it. So it's all good. So I now actually have what I needed. Oh, I can only imagine this is going to be terrible. It's been overrun with plague. Oh, the wait. Okay, the door actually opened. Oh. Okay, there's no... No plague. 
surprisingly. Good shit. There it is. I suppose I just shove my canteen in there and Oh it doesn't put full canteen. I hope Harry's right about getting a mercury out. So I need to make two things. Needs basic. Oh! Where was there a crafting table? I have to go back in here, don't I? And I have to go back down. Oh my god. What a pain. It doesn't really matter. It's kind of a pain in the ass. Because I have to keep going back and forth. Please, fuck yourself. There we go. There it is. I can make knockout juice. <gasps> yes! I could actually make two of those. I'll make as much as I can. There we go. Knockout juice! And now with the knockout juice, I can actually make knockout syringes. I can make 20 of them. Wait, no, I can make... I can make 60 of them. Wow. Okay. So knockout syringe. Where the hell are they under? Next ingredient. Pituitary extract. Stuart Adams was tinkering with my old extractor, wasn't he? Maybe I can buy it back from him. Or borrow Torch, it. Torch lightning rod, glass bottle. No. Where the hell is it under? Blue current, apple, mushroom. Oh, it'll be under drugs. Oh, we're in. Eh. I'm rather confused. Where are my knockout syringes? There we go, I've got a shitload of them. Oh, I don't- I'm an idiot, I don't have to equip them. No, I just need them on my person. Oh. Yeah, I just need them on my person. In order to use them. To knock somebody out. Kind of like anything else. Yeah, like a lockpick. You don't actually have to have a lockpick on you. Oh my god, that's rather far away. I don't like the music. Oh, no, just for this place, it's super intense. I really don't like it. Oh boy. I'm just making a break for it. Uh, they never saw me. Not too shabby. We made it. Whew. Yeah, I don't honestly think there was all that much to this place. Yeah, I just don't think there was. Right, either way. We're at home. Wait a minute. We're at home. Which one am I currently at then? Uh, no idea. Either way, it's... Is it Lutz? No. St. George's home. There it is. Actually, who's it I need to go and speak with? Oh, the chemist. Oh, uh, okay. Maiden home it is. Fly me to the moon, would you? Alrighty. That wasn't too bad. Not gonna lie. Was uh, thoroughly creeped out, but still. I'm a big boy. I made it through. The worst part is, though, I don't know why I'm like this, but when it comes to being, like, genuinely freaked out or scared in a game, it means I end up going extra slow, which only makes the, like, you know, the scariness last even longer. And that can actually be witnessed firsthand um, with Stalker, <laughs> the Shadow of Chernobyl. That was back when I was using a shitty mic, sadly, so, uh, audio quality is not up to snuff, but I might go back and, uh, redo those. I'll redo that game, along with Clear Sky and Call of Pripyat at some point. But no, there was. It's when you first come ac come across a um, I think they're called. Is it bloodsucker? I can't remember what they're called. They're essentially a mutant that kind of resemble Cthulhu, with tentacle faces. And essentially, isn't this the one that we're trespassing? Yep, it is. Right. Okay. But yeah, it was when you first encounter one of those. And what ended up happening was I knew the room where you encountered it. And as soon as I got to that room, 
I essentially just, I shut the fuck up, and I started moving real slow. I even backed up into a corner trying to find the thing, because it's, like, the gimmick of that beast is the fact it's able to be completely invisible. Well, completely invisible for the time, which means you can see a slight outline for them. But yeah, it was, it was very bad. Just because I was really terrible. It took me like 10 minutes to get through that area because I was scared shitless of that beast. I don't know why. So I've just always been a massive pussy when it comes to mm. horror games. I love them though. Money. Eh? And I bet Stuart wouldn't mind having a few Sally specials to sell. Oh, there he is. Oh, hey. Top shelf. Sally! Oh, you never come by anymore. Well, Fiona. Oh, Cerberus. I. Oh, she's never understood me, Sally. Not like you do. She mentioned, among other things, that you've improved my extractor. Have you still got my extractor? I have. Oh, you're going to be very proud of me. It's much quicker now. Might even uh, sting a little less. You've improved it. Would you like to test it out? Oh, it's you one sure of those. Fiona won't murder you. Oh, oh, she barks, but she don't bite <laughs> much. <laughs> I'll let you know how it works. Honey, pituitary extract from someone who's been exposed to mustard gas. Okay. If Forrest's clinic ought to have a patient or two like that. I'll send him a note on the blower. All right. I love how that's how I signal I want to. I want to buy some it. <laughs> It's just the weirdest thing. Um, where what can I get rid of? That's me torn suit. I need that. I can get rid of me proper shoes. Don't need those. Scotch. Don't really need any of those. Oh god, this guy's got no money. Fuck. Get rid of me torches. What else? They're worth thirteen. Fucking hell. That's a lot of money there. That's. Uh. I'm trying to trying to work it out. Times it by ten is one hundred and thirty. Seven eighty. There we go. That took me way longer than it should have. Oh, I don't have enough. Oh, I got the. They make a right juicy noise. Not a fan. We're I have. A new shipment any day now. I have so many skill points. Ten. Ah, crap. I don't have any others. Yeah, of course it would be eight. What a pen. Oh, there we go. I'll get this. Hustler. Uh, so do check back in a day or two. Send Mickey a message. A message. Is that all the way back at my house? Yep. God damn it. Constantly having to go back and forth. It's a right pen. Right, so how much further? Whoop. Try that again. Oh yeah, I'll just have to... Bob and weave through the bobbies. Yes, the doctor. He can smell me. I like how I can walk right in front of them and they still don't get alerted. Oh no, that's the park. Where was the... Okay, it's a little further down. Alright. Uh, getting past the bobbies is going to be a bit of a pain. Yeah, just because it's a trespassing area, so... Actually, wait. Shouldn't be an issue. Given the fact I can just do that. There we go. Yeah, that really isn't that hard. I just got really unlucky last time, I guess. With the bobby facing... Facing me, for some reason. Right, so St. George's. The road goes ever on and on. It do indeed. Poor Gwen. She's not even getting to see us. <laughs> We're constantly out of the house. Though this is not an ideal world for a child. I mean, that was kind of shown in the uh, opening cutscene for Sally. When the guy that wanted Blackberry came into the house, ransacked everything, and then picked up the baby thinking it was a rat. Oh god, it was kind of bad. 
I would have said, I wonder what would happen if you didn't intervene, but I know for a fact the game wouldn't have anything that terrible. It would have just stayed looping the same scene until you intervened. Which is something I'm actually glad of. So it'd be a bit fucked up if uh, something did happen. Move all crafting items. I am ten pounds lighter. So we're having to go home to send a message. Alright. I mean, to be fair, the only thing I can really do at this moment in time is focus on main story stuff. There aren't all that much secondary missions. I think I've done most of them, to be honest. Yeah. Either way. Okay, we're not that far away. I thought Sally actually moved a lot quicker than she does, but... Seems I was mistaken. I think I might just have gotten used to the speed of which the shoes allow us to move. Because it's we're wearing like the boxer's shoes or something. That's all I like how there's a trio of old ladies directly ahead of us. Look at them all! Oh wow, they're quadruplets. Never mind. Send a message on the blower. Oh! Right, on there. Let's I didn't have to write it. To say for himself. Someone's upstairs. How'd they get in? Uh oh. Oh no. How'd they get in? Maybe the fact we have a, you know, broken door. Or is it someone that knows us? Well, General. Ah. Why you let yourself in? You didn't answer my knock. I wasn't home. And you want to lock the door? Oh, the memories always come back. Oh, then you have such dreadful things to remember. Be nice. <laughs> Let me make the bad memories go away. What on earth is that? Are you hallucinating? Rainbow has all sorts of crazy side effects. It couldn't be a cat. Hasn't been a cat since the war. You are going to love this one. Couldn't be a baby. Don't be silly. No one's had a baby in 15 years. Say, ah. Oh, she gave him enough to like, knock him out. Dance with me, Robin. Do come here to forget. Bloody hell. Okay. Ow. She woke up on a sofa. Fuck in a bucket. General? Robert? Are you still here? Please don't still be here. He'll forget. Too close. So what was this? Don't that was too close, the general can't know. Nobody can know, but especially him. Because, because, I don't know why, I just have a terrible feeling. He already thinks I'm his girlfriend or wife or something. He heard Gwen, oh my god, I thought this is it. I gave him oblivion and lots of other jolly things, and I got him dancing, which really takes his mind off. But you never know with him. He's like a bloody great freight train. He doesn't derail easily. He shouldn't remember unless there's some surprise drug interaction. He won't remember if there is a god, which if there was, I wouldn't be in this situation, would I? No god would be that petty. Ow. Oh, I wonder what made... me take... Wait, what? Oh, what he made me take. Not painkillers, that's for sure. He has to forget. No one can know about you, Gwen. Especially not the general. Ah. Oh. The message! Found someone. Meet usual place. Oh, for heaven's sake, Mikey. You could have just written down the name and sent it up the blower. Meet Mikey in the alley. Okay. How shady. Wait, alley? Where the fuck? Huh? Hold the... What? I'm confused. I was there. How am I so blind? Jesus. Ugh, oh, I have no idea. But I definitely didn't see it. So, 
Gland of Hope and Glory. Alrighty. But no, that thing that we ended up getting from Stu, it's the thing that wraps around someone's neck and then shoots two like little needles up someone's nose. It's kind of awful, really. <laughs> oh yeah, especially seeing it first hand. Looks just not very nice. And here we are. Oh, it's here! Okay. I'm risking my job, you know. Patient records are supposed to be private. I'm not going to hurt him. I promise. I suppose I didn't really want to know the truth. Don't worry. No one will ever know. Hmm? Hmm. Day for it. You lovely day for it, me, you idiot. It's me. Oh Sorry. man, this is weird. I knew it was you. I mean, it's another you. The glasses, the hair, you're all dashing now. But the way you look around. Oh my god. Like that, I just knew that's Arthur. How the hell are you? This is strange. You look quite stylish. At this ancient thing. I've had it two weeks. I'm not even sure it's still in style. Queen of White checked. Your dress. That night you ran out the door and I never saw you. <laughs> that horrible gingham dress. I had to grab something to put on, didn't I? Wait. You're off your joy. Oh, don't be ridiculous. Oh, you have little faith. I never turn you in. You wouldn't believe what I've got myself into. I saw Percy. A picture of him. And I remembered the train. Oh, shit. I have to go find him. I promised I'd take care of him. How are you going to get out? Do you even have a letter of transit? Absolutely. On my desk in the city. Uh, I've been living in the garden the district. The garden district? Off the scraps of our former civilization. Oh God. I could help you. I do know General Bing. Oh, the general. You always did have a knack for making helpful new friends. You still hate me. Yeah, well, I've only been wondering for the past 14 we were 16. years. 16! How could you? Because he took me in when my mum died. Because. Because he was so generous. Because he said he loved me. I don't know. Some things just happen whether you want them to or not. We were so close. The two musketeers. Remember? You know how we used to sit on the swings by the crash V1? These days I spend a lot of time there, remembering. Look, it's a horrible, terrible world out there, and no matter how clever and brave and fierce you are now, you'll need a letter of transit to get into the Emerald City. I've missed you for 14 years. I think I can escape Wellington Wells without uh, your help, and I definitely don't want any favours from your latest friend. Arthur! Wait a minute. Well, there's your answer, darling. Arthur hasn't forgotten you. Shit. Yeah, it did not end that way. Lawrence when we played as hero of Ramsgate. Arthur. I mean, of course, he's been exposed to mustard gas. He was in the Great War. I do need his pituitary extract. I guess I'll have to pay him a visit. Man, that was that's weird. Getting to see. The otter feeder has fed your offspring. How modern. Yeah, just seeing that from a different perspective was interesting. So... So what the hell is this? So I ran into Arthur on the street. He's exactly the same, I guess, because he was always a little formal. Those big black... Is it Je suis? I have no idea. Un homme... Sor sorry? <laughs> Whatever. Glasses, keeping his jacket on after school, even on hot days, only now he's grown into himself, and he looks amazing. I can't remember what I said, I insulted him apparently, it's always so easy. I thought he'd chop my head off. What was I supposed to tell his dad? No, you're practically my stepfather, that would have gone over Brillo. Damn it, what is Arthur up to? Another implausible scheme. He's going to get killed. Ah, oh, he was fine. I wanted to say... I wanted too much to say... Help, I've got a bloody baby. But he was so awful, all I could get out was sorry, sorry, I'm sorry. I want to help you, and who even knows if he heard any of it. 
Got to find him when we're together, we're unstoppable. Arthur and Sally, Sir Galahad and the Lady of the Lake, the two musketeers. Maybe on another day, he'd listen to reason. He's on the old swings, thinking a lot, he said, in the garden district. Say what you will about our starvation diet, at least we're all off the smokes. He'd help, he'd make a fuss, but in the end he'd help. He can't help if he's too decent, I just told him. Can I trust him? People change, except for me, I'm always the same. Wish Gwen were his. Then she'd be smart for sure, and not evil at all. Ah. There we go. Go to Colonel Lawrence. Where the bloody hell is Colonel Lawrence? Oh, it's right here. Oh, you remember this guy. Was Colonel Lawrence the one that was dead? Or was that his brother? I don't quite remember. Knock on door. I bet I can just walk right on in. Sorry. Uh, we're very busy. The family is in mourning. And will be shortly. What? With any luck. I've come with the Colonel's prescription. Prescription? What does he need with medicine? He's he's dying. No thanks. I know you're a clever chemist and all, but he's very old, and, and we've decided to to let nature take its course. Oh, it's not a cure. You can't cure old age, can you? <laughs> this is really just to help ease the way. Help him sleep. Wouldn't mind if he slept a bit more. Only ringing that goddamn bell. All right, I'll give him the pills. I'm afraid it goes in the other end. Oh, <laughs> I don't suppose you'd like to administer it. I can do that. I understand that the family is sometimes uncomfortable. Great. Well, up you go. You got it. All right. Who's the perpetuity extra? No, it's in the world. Ah, oh, not perpetuity. That was before you pissed on the Sheraton sofa. I did not. It was Edmund. You put him up to it because it comes to me. There we go. Donna? Regina. Regina, no. not Regina. Is it? Is that you, Hope? I, I thought you were gone on holiday. They've been beastly to me, your sisters. I'm sorry, Papa. They are waiting for me to die. I'm surprised I haven't woken up with a pillow over my face. <laughs> How horrible. You survived artillery and mustard gas, but your daughter's your enemy now. You're not Hope, are you? Who are you? Who? Honor! Regina! Help! Oh dear. It's only sting a little. Oh god, did that... Did that kill him? You deserve better. We don't have a lot of heroes. Oh, I didn't kill him. Okay, good. Alright. I have my maturity extract and my amalgam. I need to replace the saffron and the methadrone. How do I get those? Hmm. Find com. Oh, I need to find so many more things. Jesus. I only have 11 points. Hoorah! Right, well, that's 10. That's 10. Tyler's. Perfect. Don't need to worry about a damn thing. Oh, bloody hell. Wait, so what's that I'm doing? Burn up in the fire. How do I replace them? Oh. Why is it the train? It's the train. What the balls? What a lovely bunch of non suches From your mum's garden. But she's crying. Can you make me different? I want to be different. But you are different. She means like everyone else. I'm supposed to care about dresses and dances and all I can think about are rockets and chemicals. Can you give me something to make me silly? For a couple of hours, I dare say. Shush. You don't have to care about dresses and dances. You just have to pretend to. Your mother told you to always tell the truth, didn't she? The lies they tell children. But you ladies don't care about dresses, do you? But I love dresses. Keep to your chemicals for later. Later? Later when? Things change. What do you mean? Do you know something? Where did you all go? Hmm. Oh, all right. The weird sisters. Not good. They're all 
always making potions and things out of herbs. Oh. I bet they could help me. So that's what that was all about. The weird <laughs> visit the witches. Where are they at? Okay, yeah, uh, the dig spot that's in the middle of nowhere. The weird sisters. Oh, witch peak. Of course. Now this place makes sense. It wasn't even available in Arthur. Like when you played as Arthur. It didn't exist. I mean it existed, you just couldn't do anything about it. Oh no. I'm pretty sure when you played as Arthur that it didn't exist. It might have actually been the hill where the yam took place. The whole yam quest line. That was incredibly bizarre. But very funny. <laughs> yeah, of course. Okay. I can't believe we're doing all this just to get enough components to make blackberry uh, joy. 